Hey everybody, I'm Top Shot, and I'm back with another video commentary. And guys, I want to talk about something in the world of comic books. Oh my gosh, comic books are the best magazines ever made. They are the coolest. Guys, comic books are pretty legit, okay? And what I want to talk about today is uh, DC Comics have been talking about making a transgender uh, superhero, okay? And, uh, you know, it's in the idea book. I don't think it's actually on paper right now. I don't think anybody's like, oh, I can't wait to get to work to start working on that transgender comic book. You know what I mean? Like, you know, and I don't know, like, I don't have any problem with it. Like, I would have, I I'm totally cool with Gay, lesbian, bi, transgender, whatever you call yourself, black, white, orange, yellow, I could give two shits, okay? I don't care, like, everybody is a person, everybody has a brain, everybody has a heart, everybody poops, <laughs> and I, I, I don't care, like, I don't discriminate against other people because of what they believe in, I don't, uh, get angry at atheists because I'm Jewish, no, that's not me. Okay, you can believe in whatever you want, whether it's uh, Scientology or whatever. I don't care. You can do whatever you want. And uh, like I said, I, I I think they should actually open up the world of like gay superheroes or uh, a girl superhero who has a girlfriend, or maybe like hint that like they're a girlfriend, girlfriend, like no 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 girlfriend, not like a girlfriend, and you know like. I think they should, like, open that up a little bit, you know? Like, they've actually never made, to my knowledge, I don't think I've ever seen a, a gay, lesbian, bi, transgender, whatever superhero. But it, DC or Marvel or... Uh, I, I know DC and Marvel are the two biggest ones, but I know there's other people that make comic books and there's, uh, you know, local guys that do poetry at a coffee shop. They're like, you know what? screw poetry, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a comic book, and like it, you know, they're passing out to all their friends, and then, you know, it doesn't really make it, but I know that, like, there's a lot of people out there that are in the comic books, like, I've never collected comic books, or like, comic book type items, but guys, I, I think it would be kind of cool if, like, a girl superhero had a girlfriend, or if a guy superhero had, like, a really close guy friend, and they kind of hinted at it. Like, I know that they used to talk about how Spongebob was gay with Patrick. And because they were best friends forever, they used to, like, hold hands and skip. Like, that doesn't make them gay. Like, what makes you think that a guy can't skip and hold hands with his friend? I mean, come on. Like, that's totally normal behavior. And, uh, you know, like, I, I don't think that it's that bad to think of a transgender superhero. I mean, they've almost done everything but... Uh, transgender, gay, lesbian, bi, straight, uh, gay is a rainbow, whatever you may think, I don't care, because people are people, okay? And I'm going to talk about something in my next video. I just got back from a movie, and it was probably, uh, I I'm not sure when Django Unchained came out, but I know that was, like, a pretty racial movie because of, a. Uh, What's his name with Jamie with uh Jamie Foxx is the supporting actor of uh God, I cannot think of actors' names tonight. I don't know why. I'm just like I don't know what's going on. I've had a kind of rough day. But guys, um I got my arms crossed right now. I'm like chilling out talking to you guys. And uh wasn't talk oh, and I, I probably got back depending on when Django Unchained came out with Jamie Foxx and uh, the other guy that played in Titanic. Uh, like I said, depending on when that movie came out, this may be the most racial movie of the year or ever. It was so racial. Like, they said the N-word like 50 times in one scene. And if you've actually seen this movie today, you'll know what movie I'm talking about. And it was like... It was sad, really. Like, I don't think the person that in real life deserved this because you know what? He just wanted to play baseball. 
You already know what movie I'm talking about. I'm going to say it right now. 42, okay? Uh, it's the story of Jackie Robinson, guys. Like, arguably one of the best players that ever lived because he... And it's not because he was so skilled. That doesn't make a player the best player that ever lived. Revolutionizing the sport makes you the best, okay? Like, when Babe Ruth pointed out the left center and was like, that ball's going there. Boom! And just gone. And he took off for a home run. Like, that revolutionized the sport because how many people since that day happened have pointed out like Babe Ruth, like, that's going there. If you don't know, I'm pointing with the left hand that I'm holding the phone in. And, uh, you know, revolutionizing the sport makes you remembered, okay? He revolutionized the sport by being the first African-American to ever play in Major League Baseball. And it was actually known as white Major League Baseball before that. Like, everybody knew that only white people played baseball. And that's messed up. Like, if you're better than the white guy out there, you should get a chance. I, I think everybody should be created equally. Superheroes should be created equally. If they want to make a, uh, you know, transgender, gay, lesbian, bisexual uh, superhero, they should. Okay, if a black man wants to play baseball, let him. Okay, to be honest, black people are better at sports than white guys. Like, it, it's been known for a long time. That's why they made a movie called White Man Can't Jump. And even though he could and he could slam down, but that's the whole point of the game and the whole point of the mentality of sport athletes that say that, uh, you know, w white boys don't play baseball. White boy or like... White boys play baseball. White boys don't play basketball a lot. There's only a couple of white people in the sport, and there's a lot of black people in black basketball. And I'm fans of uh, African Americans wanting to be in basketball, guys. I, I love black people. And I'm not the white guy that's like, I love black people because I want to be on their side. I legit love black people. I have uh, black people in my family. That's what I mean. I love black people because I love my family. And... It's actually opened up my mind a lot having black people in my family. I know my uh, cousins, and I have, uh, they're so, they're a lot older than cousins, so I call them uncles or black. And, uh, well, I hate saying the word black. I'll say African American, okay? Because I know I'm gonna get like, ugh, why are you calling black? Ugh. But, guys, like, I think everybody should be created equally, whether it's a comic book or in the world of sports. That's kind of what I want to talk about. You know what I mean? Like, if you want to do what you want to do, let that person do what he wants to do. Or let that person do what she wants to do. Okay, and this is not a rant. It's just a discussion, guys. I'm just talking here. I, you know, I have never said the N-word in, like, a discriminate form. Okay, like, they say it in songs that I like, and I'll say it, but I'm not racist whatsoever. Like, I hate racist people. They're such assholes, and I actually do get racist people uh, trying to make me feel bad about myself because I'm Jewish, and it, it's nowhere near... Uh, wait, it's pretty close. Okay, the Holocaust versus uh, African-American slavery, depending on who died the most, they're pretty close to being equal about being discriminated against. Um, I mean, Hitler killing, like, so semi-odd, like, million Jews, along with uh, handicapped and gay people and, like, all that stuff, like, in the Holocaust is messed up. And African American slavery is even worse. Like, I, you know, when I say that I love black people, guys, I really do. Like, I love talking to them. They know so much and they always have cool stuff to say. Like, I get a lot of them in Taco Bell and I love just like talking to them because they're such nice people. Like, I don't know who could ever hate a black person or, African American person, and I don't know why I did air quotes, but uh, because there, it's called both ways. That's why I did air quotes. Okay, but um, you know, like 
I, I get a lot of them talking to Taco Bell, and they're such nice people. They're extremely respectful. And then I get the white old guy that was, like, pro like probably the most racist gay man you'll ever meet, all right? And he's, like, arguing about what he ordered, and I rung him up wrong, and I know I didn't. Like, there was this one old guy. It was just, like, I, I couldn't believe what he was saying. Uh, when you order a Supreme Taco at Taco Bell, it means that you add, it, it adds a sour cream and tomato, and it only makes it, like, I think 50 cents more. And when you add sour cream and tomato to a chicken soft taco manually with the POS system, it is uh, 30 cents and 40 cents extra for each. It's like 70 cents extra. So actually ordering at Supreme is uh, cheaper for the customer. It's like 20 cents cheaper. And he was all, I didn't order a Supreme. I ordered a chicken soft taco with tomato and sour cream. Like, I'm like, uh, sir, like, I was being extremely respectful. I was like, sir, uh, when you add sour cream and tomato, it is actually called Supreme Style. Like, I, I did the air quotes. I was like, it's called Supreme Style, and it's actually cheaper to ring it up Supreme than it is to ring it up sour cream plus tomato. And he was like, well, son, I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, but I didn't ring it up. I didn't order it Supreme. I ordered it with sour cream and tomato. We argued, guys. Not argued, but discussed in, like, a civil manner. But he was just an asshole old man that thinks he can do whatever he wants for, like, ten minutes. And it's lunch hour at, like, 12 o'clock, and I got customers, and I'm being told that if a customer has a problem, I need to figure that out before I can move on to the next customer. So I had to keep telling him, guys, I'll be right with you. I'm talking to a customer right now. I apologize. And he was like, hey, hey, hey. Don't talk to them. You're talking to me right now. I have a problem with you. Blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, okay, sir. When you ring up a taco and you want it with sour cream and tomato, it's actually cheaper for you to order it Supreme because it's the same thing. Adding sour cream and tomato is Supreme style. And it's actually cheaper to ring it up that way. I didn't ring it up Supreme. I wanted to order it with sour cream and tomato. God, like, at that point, like, his food already came out, I, like, had to hand him his food, and I had to move on to the next customer, and by the time I started, like, taking the next person's order, it was like, so many people were in Taco Bell, and I just, like, when you have to take that many people's order, your throat just gets raw, because of how many times you have to talk, and you can't, like, stop to take a break, because you're constantly talking, and, like, ordering and you know reading it back and it, there's so much talking it's like I'm making a show like on stage and that's why they have cups of water because they're talking so much and um, guys I just want to let you know that I am the person that believes legitly believes that every person should be created equally like Martin Luther King Jr. I believe in you brother and uh, you know I think everybody should be created equally this not created uh, treated equally the same way that you would treat your family, okay? And if you haven't seen 42, go watch it in theaters. It's an amazing movie, and you will be surprised on how racial it is, but it's probably going to be the movie of the year because, guys, it's an amazing movie. And this is a really long video, and if you stay to the end, leave a comment saying that you're awesome. And, you know, pat yourself on the back for watching this video to the end and hearing me talk about, um, you know, myself because I'm Jewish and I get that a lot with the whole Jew jokes or uh, you don't belong here because you're Jewish or get out of here Jew. I've actually been called kike at football practice before and I sock the kid right in the face and uh, you know that's it for this video guys. If you liked and favorited the video you're awesome. If you stayed to the end you're awesome and if you shared to Facebook you're even awesome. Er. You're awesome. You're the deficient definition. Wow, I budged that word up. You are the definition of awesomeness if you liked, favorited, and shared to Facebook. And I'm out, guys. I hope you enjoyed hearing me talk about you guys, or talk to you guys. If you enjoyed talking. Wow. I'm just totally gone. 
I have a headache and I'm tired, but I'm going to get going, guys, and make some more videos. And they're probably going to be low quality, but I need to upload because I haven't talked to you guys in a long time. And I love you guys because you guys are really awesome fans. And I'm out. Peace. Bam.